Good evening. It is, it is so awesome, lovely to see a full house here. Um, there really aren't a lot of seats, but there, we might be, there are a couple of seats over here, three up in the front, if anybody wants to dare to come up front. There are a few seats there. And um, we do have a few chairs over here that we might be able to pull to the side. Um, if anybody, would, should we try that? Or we'll just let it be, I suppose we'll just let it be. Uh, my name is Mr. Vara. I'm the choir director here at Canyon Vista Middle School. I'm so grateful to be sharing the evening with you and your students. They are fantastic. We've had a great time preparing the fall concert for you. We are getting to know one another, um, and so far it has just been a real joy uh, to, to teach your kids. Um, really enjoying this. I want to say a quick thank you to Nick Boltz and the Hope Presbyterian Church family. Thank you, Nick and Hope. We've been very fortunate to use this space for a few years now, and there just isn't a finer place to have a concert. So without further ado, I say let's go ahead and get started. Your first group this evening is our sixth grade girls choir. They will be singing for you Scarborough Fair and the wonderful Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music.
All right, fantastic. Uh, that was our sixth grade girls choir. They meet every day during seventh period. We get to see them every day uh, towards the end of the day. The next group walking up on stage is our sixth grade boys choir. I get to see them every day during fifth period. And they are excited. They are pumped up when they come in. Lunch just got done and it's like, let's, like, let's go climb something. And I have to keep them grounded. But they're awesome. They have so much energy. Uh, they're going to sing two songs for you this evening. They're going to sing a setting of an old uh, American folk song called po Poor Wayfaring Stranger, and then a setting by Mark Patterson of The Vagabond, which we love to sing. Um, this evening, I did want to remind you, we are live streaming this concert. I shared that link with you guys. Hopefully you shared that out with anybody uh, that might want to see it. When, it's, when the concert's over, that link stays live. So you can always go back and revisit that whenever you like, share that with someone. Go back and brag on how awesome your kid was. We love that, uh, and Hope does a great job of live streaming this, so thanks again for that. And here are our sixth grade boys.
All right. So the next group to perform tonight will be our treble choir. JV treble choir meets every day, fourth period. It's a big class. This is my biggest class. There's such a great vibe in this class. The girls enjoy singing. They love being together. They love being around one another. And we've just gained in confidence every day, every day since the beginning of the year. I brag on them all the time. I can't wait for you to hear their lovely, lovely sound. They will be singing two songs for you this evening. The first will feature uh, a couple of little soloists. Uh, Addie and Percy will come up and do a solo in I Will Sing You the Stars, um, a, a song by Mark Burroughs. And then the second song, Il était une bergère, pardon my French, those of you that know French, sorry about that, because uh, that was probably terrible, but it is in French. Um, and for those of us that don't know French, this is a French children's song. Um, one of our students, I think, grew up, spent some time growing up in France. She said she learned this as a little girl. This is a common song for them to sing, and there is a lesson to be learned in this song. The song is about a shepherdess, and the shepherdess tends her sheep, and she is uh, very excited about when she gets a chance to make cheese. She gets to make cheese from the goat's milk, um, and there's a little cat. It's not her cat, but it's a cat that hangs around, and this cat is curious, as cats are, and he wants the cheese, and she's warning him. She's like, no, the cheese is not yours. Don't touch the cheese. If you touch the cheese, you're gonna get it. <laughs> and the cat is just too curious, so he kind of gets it. That's what it's about, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, the next group to sing tonight is our JV tenor bass choir. They meet every day during second period. You can hear them on the way. You know when they're there. They are doing a fantastic job. I, I really, I, I commend these guys regularly. A lot of them, a huge majority of them, are coming straight from a football practice that they started at 7 a.m. And if they didn't start practice at 7 a.m., they started their practice during first period when it started. They come straight from me from football practice. They are tired. They are hungry. And yet, we sing every day. They come in and they work, and I appreciate the work that they're putting in uh, all year so far. They're going to sing two songs for us. They're going to sing All the World Was Made For Me and they're gonna sing a song called The Jolly Miller. Um, and before, uh, right after that, they will, we will have a combined song. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. But first, our JV tenor bass choir, All the World Was Made For Me and The Jolly Miller. All right, so this year, I thought I'd try something at the fall concert, something new. We've got 30, 
six guys in second period, and we've got another, or 37, and we've got another 24 in our third period class, and they, they uh, sing separately, but I thought it might be fun to do a song together. So we taught them both the song, and so this is going to be a combined young men's choir. This is all of our seventh and eighth grade guys. They do a fantastic job, so you're gonna hear, hear them all together. While those varsity boys are joining, I did want to give you a heads up about something that's happening one week from tonight. Next Friday is Westwood's homecoming game, football game night. And if you've not been to Westwood homecoming, it is an awesome evening. Westwood does such a great job of celebrating all the wonderful things that they do on campus. They have representatives from all their different clubs and their organizations, and they recognize them, and it's a wonderful celebration. That evening, the Westwood High School Choir hosts a cookout for us, tailgate before the game. They have a little tailgate party. So it starts at about five o'clock or so. Mr. Clark is right over there. Say hi to Mr. Clark. Hi, Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark is the choir director over at Westwood. They invite us every year. We head out there about five o'clock. They feed the kids, they give them food. Uh, we throw the ball around, we hang out, have a good time together. Then they rehearse with the high school kids. We sing the Star Spangled Banner and the Alma Mater, which we'll be working on next week, the Westwood Alma Mater. And then before the game, we walk in all together and we perform the Star Spangled Banner and the Alma Mater from the sidelines up into the stands. It is a wonderful evening. It's completely free for your kids. They get into the game for free. The Westwood uh, tailgate party beforehand is sponsored by the choir. That's all for free. The only thing that would cost is if they want to stay for the game and buy concessions, which they always do, they can bring some money for concessions. But other than that, it is a wonderful free night. It is not mandatory, but I highly encourage you to go. We usually have at least 100 of our students show up, and it is a fantastic time. If you can get your kid there at all next Friday night, please have us out for the Westwood Homecoming Night. I'll be sharing a link with you that has some more information and a little uh, form where they can check as to whether or not uh, you might think you might be going. And uh, please, I hope that you will consider joining us for Westwood Homecoming Night next Friday. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email and I'll let you know. All right, that's enough talking. The natives are getting restless. Isn't that fantastic? All those guys singing, that's so great. When I was in middle school, I didn't have that many guys around me singing. That's so cool to hear that. Yes, give my hand. I, I was very fortunate to grow up in, uh, I grew up down, down south in Harlingen, Texas, down in the valley. And we had great choir programs, awesome choir programs. You from the valley? Oh yeah, uh, I have my valley yikes. Uh, 
We had great choir programs. I mean, I grew up with fantastic directors, and I had wonderful, wonderful uh, experiences, many of which have informed what we do here. Um, that is something that is pretty unique to be in middle school at this age and to have that many guys out there singing together. So I really appreciate them. I'm really proud of all the work they do, and I love hearing that sound. Um, the next group to sing for you tonight is our varsity tenor bass choir. Uh, these guys meet every day during third period. Um, they will be singing two songs for you today. They will be singing Adirang, and they will be singing Go Down, Moses. I should have said, Arirang is a Korean folk song. So this is all in Korean. You'll hear this this evening. A beautiful, lovely setting. This tune has been set in many, many different ways. There are hundreds, thousands probably of arrangements of this song. I love this one. Here's Arirang.
Love that. That was great. Uh, a couple of things as we are waiting for the last group of the evening, our varsity choir. Some really amazing news. Parents, students that were with us last year, the year before, you have done an amazing job of supporting our concerts. You come to the shows, you donate money when we have our fundraisers, you come to the spring show, and last year, we generated some revenue. Thank you, you did so good. Thank you, you did so good. So this year, we started the year and I said, we've got some money to do something. And there is something that we have needed for a while. But it's a big item, it was gonna cost a lot of money. Um, we really have needed a piano for some time. We use an upright piano. Um, but we've needed a, a good, a nice, upright piano. We've tried a few that the district has sent. They don't really hold tuning very well. I just don't think it's what's best for us in preparation. So when I saw that we had some money, I went to Ms. Haggerty. I said, Ms. Haggerty, do you think we can spend some money? And she said, if you got it, go spend it. And so um, we have just purchased a legacy instrument, an instrument that hopefully will be at our school long after I'm gone. We purchased a brand new Yamaha U1. If you know pianos, it's an upright piano, the type that would be found on college campuses and ensemble rooms and practice rooms for kids that need a good piano in a smaller space. I'm really, really grateful to you. I'm so grateful to the fundraising, to parents coming out and supporting. Thank you for supporting everything we do. Thank you for getting us a new piano. You guys are awesome, thank you. The piano should be delivered on Monday, they said. So next week, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So, uh, so we'll start rehearsals next week with a, 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 a new piano. We are very, very excited. Um, all right, I should stop talking. Honor Choir is up there and they are ready to go. They will sing two songs for you today. They will sing Hotaru Koi, which is in Japanese. It is a Japanese song about a firefly buzzing around in the mountain sky. Um, and then they will sing a song, a setting of an Irish tune called Shul Arun. Shul Arun is uh, uh, generally the tune has been thought to be um, a remembrance for um, uh, ladies as their husbands went off to battle, went off to war. And so this was kind of a, a song of blessing and of longing and of hope. Uh, and so those will be our two songs tonight. I'll come back with one more word, but first, here is Hotaru Koi. so fortunate to be able to welcome to the stage tonight a collaboration. If you don't know, Canyon Vista has the most amazing orchestra. 
the most amazing orchestra. And their orchestra director is Reagan Watley. Mr. Watley has agreed to come this evening to play for us, uh, to play along with us and accompany us on our final song, Shul Arun. Thank you so much, Mr. Watley. I did want to say one last super big thank you to our admin. Thank you, Ms. Castro, for being here tonight. It's so good to see you, Ms. Collins. Thank you for being here tonight. Our, our admin is always so supportive of everything we do. It's so awesome to have them here, to have our teachers to come and visit and watch and support the kids is so wonderful. This last song, Shul Arun, again, a traditional Irish, and um, here we go. I want to say a huge thank you to Mr. Mouse, our accompanist for the evening. Big thank you 
A big thank you to Nick Boltz and Hope Presbyterian. Thank you, parents, for coming out to our concerts, for supporting the kids, encouraging them to sing. We will see you again in the winter, and hopefully we'll see you kids on Friday night at the Westwood Homecoming Tailgate Party. Have a great evening. Thank you. Oh, one, one more thing, one more thing. If I could have a couple of helpers uh, to move some chairs, that would be really, really awesome. I'll tell you what to do. If you can help me, thank you. Otherwise, have a great night.